Alright, this is a response to Portrait of an Atheist. I'm just going to watch a video and then respond to it, pausing and unpausing. I think that'd be okay. I hope it's okay. Well, we're going to try it anyway. Here we go. Let's see. What do you have to say, ma'am? Okay. All right. Do you specifically identify as an atheist? Do I? Yes. As a matter of fact, I do. I learn quick. I ask too many questions in Sunday school. I was a Lutheran. I don't know. I took it, I took it seriously. I took it too seriously. I wanted systemic, academic, conclusive, rational proof. You know, you can see the distress come over the Sunday school teacher's eyes. And then, you know, I knew something was amiss. Sorry. I really kind of miss it, you know. But what can you do? Inherit the wind. And you get dust in your eye. Now that I absolutely agree with, you know, uh, I think religion had its purpose in our society becoming what we are, especially in the 18th and 19th century when they were trying to prove God. And what they proved was natural science. Fascinating time. You know, I mean, you can't just discount religion because it formed alarm clocks, and inherently, we're all religious. Now, that doesn't mean that we should all be Judeo-Christian or other conservative religious, but it creeps back. You know, how many atheists are New Agers? Oh, oh, now this is fascinating. Some bearded white guy looking down at me from the sky. You know who that was? When all the religions, uh, the little small religions were coming together to form the monotheistic religion of Judaism. You know who that was? That was the soul god El. And he was the god of the sky. He was like Jupiter or Zeus. He, there was, uh, I forget the name of it exactly, uh, El of the U, oh, I forget. But anyway, it had Ball in it and Asterat. Asterat was God's wife. <laughs> and it reads like comedy, you know. You should read that. Uh, the Ugandic text, I forget. Anyway, the point was, was that, I guess, Ball, whose symbol was a golden calf, surprise, surprise, you know, uh, was having some kind of relationship with the tribal chieftain's estranged wife, Asherat. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like before they were monotheistic deities, they were pathos gods. <laughs> oh, boy. It's just, it gets good. I wonder if there really was a L in real life somewhere, some tribal chief. <laughs> okay, anyway. Let's Okay, where do atheists get their morality? Well, I, I, I think it creeps back in just like friggin' religion, you know? All of a sudden you start seeing all the 
progressive, you know, values, you know, and it's almost religious in a sense. Does anything last my life? And talking about dancing in a circle and how, what an experience it was. I kind of felt that way working with the Mormons. I worked in the Jesuit industry. But um, after going to one of their presentations that was part of the company's part, not the church's part, because they're an organized religion, see, and I can't even, I don't even like unorganized religion. You know, it's just uh, it's a waste of a good Sunday sleeping in. I, I probably cheated, but it's just, I'd rather look at this night sky or beautiful sunrise than a cloudy day, you know. And I like overcast days. I, I think they're some of the most dramatic, especially by the sea. It's beautiful. You know, it's, a, it's not hard to believe that man didn't think that there was someone painting those landscapes in the sky. You know, some of it's just amazing. Uh, anyway, God creeps in whatever form you want to, or face you want to put on him. <laughs>